Just give it a second. Yeah. <laughs> I just want you to know that as a presenter, this is really awkward for me. Oh, so Could you hear your No, it? you're on the wrong side. Should we move? <laughs> no, I'm not, I don't care where you are. It's fine. If I was actually doing a presentation, I would move you over there because oh. this is awkward for me. Why? Is that just you? Yeah, I think because I'm right-handed, and so I just need some space over here, and it feels too cluttered. I'm used to interpreters being off no, on the left-hand side over here. Is that something that we should usually do? Most of the time, we're off on the left-hand side of the speaker. Okay. I get, depending on the room and where you mm -hmm. can sit, but yeah. Somebody's got the uh, yeah. time. Mm -hmm. And notes. I feel like this is, does this close on me? Oh, there it does. What is that on still? I just wanted to change it so you could see her more. <laughs> All right, ready? So if you guys haven't taken theory class yet, I want to tell you a few things that you're probably going to learn whenever you do take theory. So... We will study spoken language interpreting along with ASL interpreting, sign language interpreting. We talk about our history, when interpreting started. That's for when spoken language interpreting started. And the challenges and in consecutive interpreting. For most of the history of interpreting, it's always been spoken language consecutive interpreting. And then in 1945, after World War II was done, most of you have a little bit of background knowledge about that, right? So the National Conference, so when they decided it was illegal, and they had to figure out who was guilty. They had to have a trial. So they had a national trial. They came together to discuss. Um, it was about 35 men sitting in a courtroom and one judge discussing how, and they had to figure out how the Germans would speak together, how the Russians would speak, the, the French, how everybody was going to communicate because they all had different languages. There were so many different languages going on. So the highest judge, he was from the U.S., the Supreme Court judge, he went to the interpreter of the US, for U.S. and he asked them how, he asked them to explain interpreting and the interpreter said, you need a new system. Right now we use consecutive interpreting, but that would go on forever, for years and years. So it's impossible to get things done using consecutive interpreting. And the judge asked him to figure out what they should do. So the interpreter came up with this idea of how to interpret simultaneously. So this is for spoken language, not for ASL. Just remember that. So in 1945, the... The, they had a hard wire system. So that meant that they used a microphone and headphones and different buttons to control the volume and who was speaking. So say that you were speaking and that you were French and you only knew French. You would put on the hard wire system, put your headphones on, and turn it up and turn French on. So that means that you would hear French in your ear. So at the same time that the people were, were listening to their own language, there were interpreters working in boxes. So if you didn't know any other language, you would put on your hardwire system and you could have Russian, German, French, any language. So at the same time that one person might be listening to French, the other person could be listening to Russian. There were four different languages going on at the same time. So again, I just want to stress that Say I'm a lawyer and I'm speaking in English and after I finished giving my speech, the people who were waiting for French would hear the French 
and then the people who were waiting for German would wait after that, hear the German, and then the people who were waiting for Russian would hear the Russian, but that would take so long. So the new system, well, there were 12 different interpreters working at the same time. They were all working simultaneously, but they all had different headphones on. So it's a very interesting system. So anyway, in theory, you're, you will learn more about that, um, discussions in the book, and you'll learn that all in theory class.